Hello everyone, thanks for checking out my video. Today I'm going to show you how to mine Bitcoin gold using Awesome Miner and your NVIDIA graphics card because well, we don't really have an AMD miner that's going to work with Awesome Miner just yet. There is one that'll work with like the command line, but I don't know how I feel about it, but more on that in a little bit. Let's get started. All right, first things first, you need the new wallet, okay? So come to the Bitcoin Gold website, go to the downloads here. You can choose the core wallet, which will download the whole blockchain, take forever, or you can do Electrum G, which is nice because it's kind of like a client wallet and it's lightweight, so you don't have to download the whole blockchain. I like Electrum wallets just because they're quick and easy. I mean, that's, that's pretty much me, so you decide what you wanna do, but download this wallet and install it. The next step is to come over to miningpoolhub.com and sign up with an account if you haven't already. If you're new to it, make sure you pick a username that's easy to remember because you will be typing it in later. Then um, you're gonna go ahead and click on this um, Bitcoin gold link over here on the left-hand side. And that will take us to sort of the setup page, you know, so you can scroll down a little bit and you'll see here we've got server information, which we're going to use to set up Awesome Miner, okay? Next, you want to download a copy of Awesome Miner. So you can just come over here. I'll leave a link in the description. Click this top link here, Awesome Miner Installer. That's the full program. It gives you up to two miners for free. Install that. Once Awesome Miner is installed, you'll probably get a bunch of different pop-up windows. You can just cancel everything and get to this main screen here, and I'll just walk you through the whole process. If you've downloaded the latest version of Awesome Miner, you pretty much have everything that you need to get started mining Bitcoin Gold with your NVIDIA graphics card, okay? So I got to stress that this is for NVIDIA right now. All right, so first thing you want to do is click this New Miner button, and that'll take you to the Add New Miner Wizard. Go to Next, and then Manage Profit Miner. Go to next and then here we're going to type in bitcoin gold and leave your miner host as local and then profit switching profile we're going to set that to nvidia go to next and finish All right, and that creates a new miner right here the next step is to create a new pool for that miner and we're going to click this button right here that says new pool and here we're going to give it a description i'm going to call this mph so i know it's mining pool hub and then Bitcoin gold. All right, for the server URL, we're gonna type in stratum plus TCP colon forward slash forward slash, and then we'll go back over here to Mining Pool Hub and grab the server address. Um, you have three different regions here, so just pick the one that's closest to you and make sure you include the entire address and port number. All right, I'll just right click, copy that and paste it right here where it says server URL. Right here where it says worker name, this is where you're gonna put your mining pool hub username. So in this case, mine is goose tech dot, and this is my 1080, so I just put in 1080, that way I know which graphics card's mining on their site. Worker password is X, and then underneath optional settings, you want to scroll up to where it says Equihash BTG. See that right there? It's its own Bitcoin gold algorithm special that they made just for themselves. <laughs> I suppose other people could figure it out, but that's right now Bitcoin gold exclusive Equihash algorithm. <laughs> so um, they get their own little spot in the list. So there we have it. Click on OK. Now, if you do not see that spot, I don't see any reason why you wouldn't, but if you don't, come on over here to whattomine.com and search for Bitcoin gold in the coin list. And what we can do is select part of the address. See up here, you get whattomine.com slash coin slash 214. That's what we want, that number, all right? So get this part of the address, copy it, and then in here, we'll go to options, statistics and you see right here it says what to mine additional json urls you're just going to paste that right in here all right you might not have to do that it's only if you don't see bitcoin gold listed underneath the equihash 1445 algorithm okay i think that they've already updated it so that you'll see it okay but 
I had to bypass it earlier, so that's why it's hard for me to know for sure what's going on because <laughs> I've already got it hacked <laughs> to make it work for me before they do the updates. But that being said, um, once you've got everything squared away there, uh, you should be good to go, all right? Um, if not, one more thing that you can check. Go to Options, go to Managed Software, and then scroll down a little bit until you see this EWBF CUDA Equihash Miner right here. It says version 0.3, all right, that's good. Highlight it and click on Edit. And then here, you'll see it's already pointing to the right files that it needs and everything. The one thing that we want to check is right here. See where it says Equihash BTG 1445? Make sure that it says enabled, all right? And then that it has this default command line argument, okay? You need this um, to pass through to the EWBF miner so that it will actually mine this algorithm, okay? Click on OK and OK. One last step is to go to Options, Profit Switching, and then make sure you enable Manage Profit Switching at the top. Disable all of these other ones. And then where it says Custom Pools, put a check mark here. And then hit the little down arrow and make sure you choose the new one that you just added, Bitcoin Gold right here. And then click on OK. All right, so we set up new miner, new pool, told it which pool to mine, and made sure some of those other parameters were all uh, as they need to be. So uh, once you've got it all set up, go ahead and click on start. And you can see in my version here, it pulled up the EWBF Equihash miner. And there we have our first reading, 35 souls and just under $1 right now. And that's while I'm recording, which is actually pretty good. So uh, your mileage may vary, but this is pretty decent for my 1080. The last thing to set up is your wallet so that you can get your payouts. One thing I have to tell you right now is that if you go to the auto exchange on Mining Pool Hub, there is no automatic trading for Bitcoin Gold, okay? So these different exchanges are not yet ready to accept Bitcoin Gold using their new algorithm and that new blockchain that they started, okay? So um, you won't be able to auto exchange it but you can still get paid out, all right? So to get paid out, you just go to the Bitcoin Gold Pool, click on Wallet, and then right here where it says Payment Address, um, you go to your Bitcoin Gold Core Wallet or your Electrum Wallet, and you get your receiving address and put it right there, all right? Then you would put your automatic payout threshold. You can set this to wherever you like, whatever is best for you. Maybe you set it to one Bitcoin gold. Maybe you set it to half a Bitcoin gold, whatever's good for you. Put in your four digit pin here and then click on update account. Then whenever this online wallet hits that payout threshold, it'll automatically send the Bitcoin gold over to your Electrum wallet or your core wallet, whatever address that you provide here. Now, for all you AMD users out there, what's the best solution right now? Well, I would probably suggest to you try doing something like mine Lira 2Z. <laughs> so find a good coin that you can mine using that algorithm because it's actually pretty decent for AMD cards. You may also consider Phi 2 um, as an algorithm or even the standard Equihash is still not too bad. Um, you can mine some Zcash or some Zencash or something like that. Um, as for this LOL miner, I'll leave a link in the description. You can play around with it on your own, but do so at your own risk, okay? Because it's closed source. We don't have it on GitHub. I don't know what's really going on here. And I would highly recommend not running the software on uh, the computer that has your wallets on it, you know, just good practices here. Um, so be very careful with this kind of stuff. I mean, and it may be completely fine. I don't know. All right. And I'm not trying to say anything bad about, you know, the developer. I think it's great that somebody has stepped up to the plate and has decided that they wanted to create a miner for the AMD 
community. It's, it's a, a very important part of this project. The whole idea here, if we go over here to the Bitcoin Gold website, they want to make Bitcoin decentralized again, whatever that means. I mean, obviously right now, Bitcoin itself is probably more centralized than anything. <laughs> um, so their idea of forking to go to Equihash and then now to um, fork even the Equihash again uh, so that it's ASIC resistant, at least they are, you know, owning up to the original goal, which was to keep this thing decentralized. Um, one thing that I have to criticize them on is um, the way they rolled this out. I really appreciate them, you know, spearheading the effort, you know, and, and being one of the first to fork the Equihash algorithm. But the big problem here is that there's not enough miner support. You know, they can go ahead and fork all they want, but if they aren't there to support the miners in a way that makes it so that they can mine, <laughs> let's keep it real, guys. I mean, we shouldn't have to be jumping through hoops to figure out how to mine a coin. Uh, and I don't care what coin it is. It should be actually, they should have developers with the coin that just make miners you know what i mean or, or find different ways to incorporate miners into the wallets or you know find just make standalone software so that people can more easily jump on the network you know it just doesn't make sense to me why more coins aren't making that a priority especially when they want it to be decentralized um, I mean maybe there are still a handful of coins out there that do make that a priority but they're few and far between and with the way so many different coins fork willy-nilly these days um, I gotta tell you it's becoming very frustrating it's frustrating for me because I want to be able to provide you the best content possible and these coin developers aren't making it easy for somebody like me who is trying to support them by helping you I mean it just it's a terrible situation if you ask me because they don't really think it through you know I mean and I could really go on a whole rant about all the different forks that happened in the last three months and I think I'm ready to blow a gasket already so I'm just gonna kind of leave it at that for right now I do appreciate you guys coming to my channel and sticking with me here I hope that you find the content to be helpful because that is really at the core of what I'm trying to do here because I see the value in crypto not just you know in terms of like oh yeah everybody's making tons of profits because we know that's not true but the value is in the blockchain itself. The value is in the technology and the way it's going to revolutionize the way we transact around the world. Okay, that's that is the key to this whole crypto venture for me, at least. You know, it's just recognizing the new tech, how it's going to impact us, and how helpful it will be for so many people. Um, but the developers are not making it easy and that's my big gripe right now is that you know the more of this stuff that comes out and um, the more I work with it the more I realize how much in its infancy it really is so I mean I do I do suppose at this point you know even I got to be patient uh, and I'm usually the one who says you know just give it some time be a little patient with it blah 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 but it, it does get frustrating so just know that um, even I kind of you know crack a little bit under the pressure of you know how uh, annoying this can be uh, so NVIDIA people I hope that this video gets you up and running the way you want to be with Bitcoin gold it is pretty profitable you saw me right around a dollar there and that's a pretty consistent dollar a day which is I mean it's better than most algorithms right now so there you have it how to mine Bitcoin gold with your NVIDIA graphics card using awesome miner if you like the video please give me a thumbs up and be sure to hit subscribe ding the bell come join us on discord so if you have any other questions you have needs for tech support or whatever if you just want to talk crypto come join us the links are down below and i'll look forward to seeing you in the next video thanks so much god bless